All right, welcome to the finale of the third challenge with the robot. We have made it through another week. Uh, almost unscathed. I think board eight, uh, again, I could have played that a trick better by getting the club position right and maybe maybe just taking a different line at, at some point altogether. But anyway, uh, that is the only real suspect one it looks like so far. And we left off with this preview of a massive hand and partner open the bidding, right? So here, don't panic, number one, <laughs> when you see this hand. This is a great hand. You're going to try to bid a slam, right? And it's going to it's going to take a lot of convincing from partner for you not to bid a slam, even when you're balanced. But we're going to start just by describing our hand, right? We have a four card spade suit and we have six plus points. So there's our six plus partner bids one, no Trump, 12 to 14 balanced. Make your bid. It's kind of crazy here. I, I, I'm still, I'm four triple three. I do not love when it goes this way, but honestly, six, no Trump seems like the right bid being flat. You might consider four, no Trump, Right, which is that's about the range that they're expecting over there. Um, and that's about right, right? If we downgrade this slightly, we have exactly 20. Uh, so here, not vulnerable. I don't know, four no Trump, I'm okay with. And then if partner has, you know, that good 13 or 14, we expect them to go further and they don't. So here, if they're putting down a flat hand, this is great. And not putting down a flat hand, but they're also doesn't look the like they're putting down a hand that we would want to be in slamming either. So we'll, we'll take that for sure. All right, take a moment, guys. Plan a little bit of the play, and I will start shortly. Uh, and here the play is just going to come down to guessing clubs again, right? The, let's see if we can get it right this time, folks. And the good thing is it's easier to guess clubs this time because there's really only one way you're going to play this suit. Uh, you're going to play a low club to your ace. And then you're just going to play low towards that holding over there and take what you get. Uh, now, you can guess this in a multitude of ways. You can play low and hope it's king and one on your right. But here, really just low to the low to the queen is fine. It caters to any holding where the king was on your left. Uh, here did not work for us, but we still have the ability to set up the last trick. And it was never going to work for us. The king and the jack were all there. And now we are going to take a whole boatload of tricks. In fact, we're going to take the rest, right? The ace and king of hearts, we can pitch that small diamond. Those two clubs are good. We did a good job setting those up. So we have all the rest, which means we, we bid efficiently, right? Four no trump. We made one over trick. So we'll take that plus 460. And we'll move on to the ultimate board of our challenge. <laughs> uh, okay, nice 5-5 five, five hand, one heart. Nice. Here we just always pattern out, right? So we're just going to bid two clubs. Partner raises to three clubs. Interesting. We like this. We like this a lot. Uh, question is, what do we bid? Answer is, if we want to play game, the game we're going to want to play is not no trouble. <laughs> okay. And, and this is weird. Uh, it was my birthday recently, so I, I feel like I could uh, maybe make this work. I, I, I didn't use my bidding five of a minor on my birthday card yet. Uh, but here's here's what we have going on. Let, let's just think about the values around the table that are being represented, right? We have a 15 count. Our left-hand opponent is overcalled and bid twice. So honestly, I give them like an opening hand. So let's give them like 13, right? We have 15. That's 28. And partner has like, let's say they have nine. Well, they say nine to 12. So let's just give them 10, right? And that's 38 total points. So right-hand opponent has pretty much nothing, right? Which means, you know, uh, this might be a safe card. It, only if West leads it, though. If we have to lead diamonds, it's just going to be really bad for us. However, we should recognize that we have a club fit, apparently, and partner has less than three hearts. So we might, if partner has good clubs, be able to set up these hearts pitch away cards over there from partner's hand and be able to get rid of some diamonds in that side if they haven't led them yet. Uh, partners one no trump bid suggest they have uh, something as far as a stopper in spades. So it's possible also we could just pitch a diamond on a spade. So here, uh, I, I just don't want to bid no trump because they might just clear a spade. And if we do have a club loser, now we're just down, right? Now they're just going to run spades. So here, I'm just going to bid a game I, I think we can make and, and another imp play, right? We're trying to get to a game, get our 600. 
and uh, and escape with our lives here. And here we go. Okay, uh, as expected. There, this is this is not too bad at all, right? Partner has an eight count, and we might even make this thing. We're gonna need a little help. Uh, one thing about the auction suggests that hearts might not be breaking, right? We'll left the open spades, and then. Uh, and then rebid uh, diamonds, or excuse me, not just hearts, hearts or clubs, right? Clubs not breaking isn't too bad. Hearts not breaking might be worse for us, right? But first things first, we have no choice what to do here. And I don't, well, let's see. Yeah, we'll just play a low club. Okay, we don't mind seeing that. Might be singleton ace there. Love this, right? Let's play that diamond. <laughs> And they, they kind of can see, apparently, the writing on the wall that that diamond is going away, so they just needed to get in and out of there. Um, now we're going to draw one more round, and we're going to see the bad news. So now this might mean that hearts are breaking, right? And, and that would be really good for us, right? So at this point, we can cash the king of spades. That's not really doing us any good. And even if hearts aren't breaking, it looks like uh, – sorry, if hearts are breaking, that is great. And if they're not breaking – we just have a cross rough, basically. All right, so here, boom, boom, and now we just have a high cross rough. I don't care what's happening. They have one club left. They'll under rough at some point, and we will just take our plus 600. That had to be pretty good at the end. Let's see our result, folks. We'll get a result in the middle of the screen in a second, and then we'll go look at our, uh, our blackboard for the rest of them. Come on, robot, how'd we do? Ooh, okay. That was a little rough for them. Uh, we did pretty good. 39 to 1. Interesting. Uh, the first board, we kind of knew uh, we were going to see this, right? We knew we were going to see a pass out, which shows you, uh, in fact, sorry, let me get over to the results screen, but this shows you the, the, the difference, right? Passing out gives you zero. So any plus score gains imps, right? Any minus score would lose imps. Just the, just the same, okay? So let's jump over and see the results in full. And yeah, here is the uh, here's that first board. Yeah, we we were just in three clubs, and there's their pass out, like we fully expected, right? We we predicted that completely. Uh, and the second board, it looks like they got to, I believe, three no Trump. Yeah, so it's, this is <laughs> this is what happens. They bid three hearts, and then partner just bid three no Trump, and they were stuck there. And they ended up going down to when we were just in a nice four heart contract making. And and here this is just all about, you know, that the quality of that heart suit and making a kind of a targeted bid that's likely just to get you to your best spot. So we were able to get there, which is really nice. Um, what else was happening? Where are our other swing boards on this one? Um, let's see. Uh, boards, I guess it was the, it's funny. It was the first two boards and then it was the last two boards. Uh, the last two boards... They bid six no Trump and and take take a look. They they kind of didn't look at their own system as far as their levels there, um, and and they didn't take into account the just flat nature of that south hand. The south hand is so much stronger if you put a source of tricks in it, right? Put a five card diamond suit in this hand, right? Amazing, right? Or or a, a five card spade suit for that matter, right? Find a a more shape and more trick taking potential, and I'm willing to bid more with this hand. Uh, but here we chose the, the the lower route and we got to six no Trump. They used Gerber, which I find fun. Uh, I, I don't even want to talk about Gerber. Forget <laughs> forget this convention. But it is helpful for straight no Trump contracts. And this last one, I guess it's just uh, you know pat pat myself on the back for a little good bit there, Rob. <laughs> the, this was you know just kind of looking at this as we discussed before I made the bid, a spot where we rate to do pretty well. Right. Especially at the end of a of, of a an imp match, uh, when we're vulnerable, we don't expect to be getting crushed in this spot. And also, I mean, the quick trick nature of these hands is 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 beautiful. Uh, and notice that I guess that I was probably wrong to be concerned with uh, uh, with the spade suit on this. I, I probably should have been more concerned with the diamond side suit, right? Because it looks like we could just lose five tricks on this hand, but. Alas, East never gets on lead, or at least won't get on lead early enough to get all the tricks if we did play no Trump on this one. Uh, so fun times. Uh, now I think this was a nice revenge round for the robot. You know, we, we took we took thirty nine to one against them in the imp challenge. So yeah, yeah, 
Take that, robot. Take that. So uh, two and one now. Two and one. We lost the first one. We won match points, and now we have had a very nice imp result. We will try to do even better next week, guys, in the weekly challenge. I really hope you're enjoying this series. I love recording these. Uh, I have like three or four in the bank already, so I'm looking forward to releasing them and showing you all of the fun stuff that uh, me and these robots are getting up to. So until next time, guys, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. We'll see you again for day one of the challenge on Monday. And going forward, uh, I hope you guys are in enjoying your times at the tables throughout this fall season. And I hope to see you at those tables real soon, guys. Take care and have fun.